Are you ready to add some sizzle to your relationship? Look, my husband and I have been together for over seven years, and sometimes it takes work to inject some excitement back into our relationship. So we tried Amorous, and my favorite thing about this app was the fantasy swipe game, where you get to vote yes or no on various sexy scene scenarios, and Amorous will only let your partner know what you chose when you guys match on a fantasy. So if you're a little shy, yet want to be adventurous, try the Amorous app, a playful and discreet environment where you can express yourself freely. Amorous is free for Apple devices, with Android launching later this year. Download in the App Store, install, and invite your flame to connect and play. Check it out at amorous.net slash holly in the App Store or in the show description. That's amorous, A-M-O-R-U-S dot com slash holly. So you were with Naked News for seven years? Yeah. And what, like, kind of progressed from there? Uh, for seven years, I mean, when I first joined the show, I, uh, I had about a few months of just entering in as an anchor, reading scripts that they provided for me, and I had a burning desire to do more. Mm. I saw this show, I saw the freedom within the content. I saw, wow, we can talk about sexuality. Mm -hmm. This is something I'm genuinely interested in. I wanna lead some investigations. I have too many ideas. Mm -hmm. I'm constantly idea explosions nonstop. So I said, hey, I, I've got an idea for this and for that and for that, whether it's a series on how to improve your dirty talk, whether it's spending a week with this naturist resort or this swingers getaway, and I would action it. I did all of the legwork to get you know, logistics done, locations, um, all the clearances, all the permissions, all of the production that goes into that, I handled and I ended up doing a slew of exciting, fabulous adventures for that show. And uh, I'm, I'm awfully proud of it. We did some things that I don't think the show ever imagined we'd do, like standing on the red carpet at the Toronto International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. That's a big event. That's a very Naked? corporate, I wore a blazer with nothing under it. And when I had my opportunities, I gave a flash to the camera. Okay, gotcha. But, you know, access to events that I don't think they thought we would ever attend. Mm -hmm. uh, and I loved that challenge. Mm. You know, I loved finding ways to pitch our attendance to different conventions, different awards, and and find my way in. Mm -hmm. You know, that negotiation just gets me off. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. So seven years of that, you know, uh, of really riding that high of producing this content and writing my own scripts, um, building my own investigations, the questions that go into it. And I had a really good relationship with my producer in, you know, was it so much collaboration or me just saying, we're going to do it this way? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I got to do a lot of the things that I I wanted. And and I'm, I'm incredibly grateful for that. It was very empowering. Right. Yeah. So what made you decide to leave after the seven years? Had you just had it just run its course? Yeah, I relocated to New York City uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hadn't lived there in like nine years. But I wanted to go back. I wanted to feel the re awakening of a city after the destruction of the pandemic. And uh, I, I wanted to take a chance on myself as an independent. And uh, I did see the limitations within the brand of Naked News. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a negative, mm -hmm. but um, good branding is tight branding. Yeah. And in the case of Naked News, there's certain subject matter that we don't enter into, mm -hmm. whether it's um, the queer experience. Mm -hmm whether it is the politics around sex work, mm -hmm. whether it is the realities of, say, stigma, whether it is far too deep into the taboos of sexual behaviors. Mm -hmm. These are areas that fascinate me, uh, and I want to be able to go into them and present them to an audience without worrying, oh, is this going to rub them the wrong way? Mm -hmm. Ooh, is this going to be a mismatch for everything else this legacy has been built around? Because there were experiences of that. Mm where I start interviewing someone and we both reach an emotional level, or maybe we're discussing trauma. Maybe we're discussing some really hard realities about being a sexually experienced person. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't fit the show. Right. It just, it didn't fit what they're trying to do. Yeah. And these are things that I am so compelled to explore. Yeah. So I had to do that. You know, it's so interesting that you say that because I remember when I first 
started this show, I didn't really like know what it was going to be. I was just like, I'm just going to interview people in the adult industry and yeah. we'll just see how it goes. And, you know, I figured it would probably be a pretty lighthearted um, conversation, yeah. funny and stuff like that. And then episode, I believe it was number nine, was with August Ames. Mm. And she talked about her issues with depression and suicide and stuff like that. And then, you know, as many of us know, she committed suicide a few months later. And that, like, kind of shifted everything for me. Because I remember when we were talking, she was revealing all this stuff about her that I didn't expect and I was not prepared for. And I was just like, in my head, I'm like, wait, does she know that, like, this is, like that we're recording this, you know, does she like want this out there? And I just, you know, just remember being so surprised. And then afterwards I asked her, I said, you know, you revealed like really personal stuff. I'm like, are you sure you want to publish that? And she was like, yes, you know, I do. Like I want to be open. And, and I checked in with her, I'm not joking, three times. And I was like, are you sure? And then, um, and then I released the episode and the response was overwhelming in terms of like the people who, really her story resonated with them because they'd had like similar experiences or it made them see her as more of a human, mm -hmm. you know, cause I wasn't sure how it was going to look. And it made me realize that there people do, you know, I think some people really need to hear other people's trauma to help them touch their own yeah. and maybe explore their own and maybe heal from their own. And I didn't see that until I did an episode with her. Um, so that really kind of shifted everything. And I was like, wow, this podcast could actually be about so much more than like, you know, the 10 man orgy that you did, or like the one time that like he accidentally stuck it in your butt. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so glad I'm so, I, I mean, that's, that's so pivotal. Yeah. And it was such a tragedy that obviously would happen of course. afterwards. Um, you know, and August was so lovely and I was just devastated, but yeah. And, and since then it's, you know, I've, it depends on my guest. It's mm. like whatever they want to talk about, whatever mm. they want to be open about. And some people have been incredibly open and there's been tears and it's yeah. been like, and you know, you never, I never thought I would get that from like a porn podcast and it's been, Isn't but it's been great. I, I, I know exactly what you've been through when it, when it comes to having that unexpected access to yeah. someone as an interviewer myself, yeah. it is, we go into a situation or, or a, an appointment, let's say, mm -hmm. I'm interviewing so-and-so, and sometimes it's just miraculous. Are you ready to add some sizzle to your relationship? Look, my husband and I have been together for over seven years, and sometimes it takes work to inject some excitement back into our relationship. So we tried Amorous, and my favorite thing about this app was the fantasy swipe game, where you get to vote yes or no on various sexy scene scenarios, and Amorous will only let your partner know what you chose when you guys match on a fantasy. So if you're a little shy, yet want to be adventurous, try the Amorous app, a playful and discreet environment where you can express yourself freely. Amorous is free for Apple devices, with Android launching later this year. Download in the App Store, install, and invite your flame to connect and play. Check it out at amorous.net slash holly in the App Store or in the show description. That's amorous, A-M-O-R-U-S dot com slash holly.